So we got nice weather, Heather. Any excuse? Haven't felt too amazing, to be honest with you, but uh, any excuse to get out. So we are experiencing stupid wind here in the UK. 25 mile an hour plus winds, but that isn't gonna stop me. I just wanna say thank you as well to a lot of the people that have been watching uh, my videos and also commenting. I, I really appreciate it. The, the support is fantastic and I, I'm actually quite blown away by it. What, what still fascinates me in a good way is just how supportive the motorcycle community is. It's, it's, I feel it's really strong. It, it doesn't matter wherever you are in the world as well. It seems to be the case that if you're uh, the owner of two wheels, then you have this sort of sense of respect for each other. And I, and I think that that's so important because there's so much crazy shit going on in the world at the moment, particularly in the UK, Brexit, Trump. Oh, I, I don't want to get too political. And I want to keep this channel away from all that rubbish. But there's, there's so much negativity out there at the moment, particularly in the media. It's kind of like the motorcycle scene is just this bubble of positivity. From, you know, the second you flip your leg over your motorcycle and you go out riding, and I think riding a motorcycle is very liberating anyway. But the, the whole sort of ambience around motorcycles and the community is so positive it, it sort of restores your faith in humanity and I think two-wheel two therapy is uh, is really really important I mean I remember this story and this is going back some so this is going back over 10 years ago and I, I had a GSXR 600 and I was um, going on holiday to the Isle of Wight of all places I had some family over there at the time and I thought oh you know I'm gonna go and uh, have a little holiday, put my pants in my rucksack, uh, all that sort of good stuff, and, and uh, off I went. And um, on the way there, I broke down at uh, the Dartford uh, crossing on my GSXR. It just, it just stopped, it just died. And like, I don't know if you know the Dartford Crossing on the M25, but it's, it's, a, it's a seriously busy uh, part of the motorway, and um, I felt really vulnerable. I sort of pushed my bike to the side, they closed down several of the tolls at the time, and I think at this point in time, you had to throw uh, your change into like this little bucket thing. They didn't have like this, uh, you know, pay the next day like they do now. But anyway, I digress. So I've broken down on the side of the road thinking, right, okay, um, I'm going to call the RAC and this northern chap who was down this way and lived down sort of around the M25 and in London he pulled over, he stops and he's like, are you okay mate? I'm like, well, my bike's just died and with that he's sort of taken it upon himself in a, in a very positive way to help me out he's tried to turn it over he said, look, it's probably the battery he's a, he was a biker himself and um, he, he basically drove me to his house. So he's not obviously working or he's doing his own business, but he stopped dead in his tracks. He's drove me to his house. He's taken the battery off his bike and he's drove me back to my motorcycle at Dartford and put my bat uh, his battery back on my bike because we thought it was something wrong with the battery. I mean, you, you just can't sort of write that stuff down, can you? It's, just, it's like, or make that stuff up rather. It, it's just unbelievable, a, a level of kindness. It's just next level. And um, there wasn't actually anything wrong with the battery. It was something to do with the regulator that which charges the battery. But the, the actual point being is this guy went out of his way to help me. And he didn't know me, but we had, it, brilliant conversation when he was driving me to his house which weren't just round the corner by the way it was I can't remember exactly how far away it was now because it was well over 10 years ago maybe even 12 um, 
But my, my point being is that the motorcycle community is just so strong. I've got so many stories like that. I remember a time as well, again on my Jixxer, I only bought it for, I just passed my test. And literally I passed my test on a Wednesday and on the Thursday I went and picked up a GSXR 600. Obviously you can't do that now because of all of the new laws and regulations around passing your test. But um, the, the point being is I, I basically had a load of uh, biking buddies and um, what they, they went to the Nürburgring the week before and I was so jealous, I was like, I want to go to the Nürburgring, I want to go to the Nürburgring. And this is the days of where, you know, I'm 25, 24, 23, some, somewhere around that sort of age where you feel invincible and you can just do anything. But anyway, I didn't make it in time to go with my friends. And I thought to myself, I want to go to the Nürburgring, I want to experience that. And um, I had my, my motorcycle licence for about three months, it, you know, granted I've been riding bikes illegally for God knows how many years prior uh, since you know I was at school like 12 riding them over a field or whatever but um, I ended up going to the Nürburgring on my own uh, and crashed <laughs> luckily the bike still worked but um, when I was there again I met up with these group of lads these three lads uh, and we got talking, you know, I'm on my own again, so friendly, and they're like, you know, you can ride with us, so I ended up going out with them in the evening, and we ended up getting on the beer and having pizza and all that sort of good stuff. And um, I guess the reason, again, that I say that is because it just goes to show just how strong the motorcycle community is, how we really look out for each other, and I am the same. I'm exactly the same. If I'm going along the motorway and I see a motorcyclist broken down or is it having a bit of trouble, I am the first to pull over, check if he's alright or she and, and try and help them out to the best of my ability. I think I owe that back to the community because I've had such good um, feedback and positivity the mo motorcycle community really installs my faith in humanity I think it's like this secret little community of people that actually really look out for each other and are, and are, are decent human beings now obviously there's always an exception to the rule there are assholes out there um, just like in any group or community but I, I think that that gives sort of a, a, a different aspect of what is out there in the general public's view in the sense that you know if you ride a motorbike you're you're a hooligan you know you are dicing with death um, you know you're not responsible and I, I don't think anything could be further from the truth and yeah I guess the reason I say that is I just want to say thank you that's it you wait there there you go you didn't fancy giving away she had enough room anyway well, uh, are off with that one. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thanks to you guys for supporting this channel so far. You, you've been giving me like a lot of encouragement to make more videos and stuff and make more content. And I really, really appreciate it. It's actually blown me away. I've only made like three videos or something like that. Um, so thank you very much. I, I, I very much appreciate it. I think this year I, I plan on doing a lot on this bike this year. Um, I'm going to be doing some track days over at uh, Brands Hatch, which is the local track near me. I say local, it's the best part of an hour and a half away, but the nearest one to me, I know Brands Hatch very, very well. I've spent probably, I was going there literally like twice a week at one stage for like three or four weeks consecutive, uh, doing indie nights. So I know that track very, very well. Uh, I plan on taking this bike on that track, getting the right tyres, getting some lovely Pirelli Diablos on it, which I know are going to change this motorcycle straight away. Um, I'm going to be touring on her as well. I don't know if I'm going to be going to Spain. I, I want to go to Spain, Barcelona, do the Pyrenees. Um, 
and other great stuff really on this channel. And you know, the other thing I want to say as well is that I'm not one of the big reasons I guess that I'm, I'm making these videos as well is to reach out to, to people like you. You know, I, I think it's a great way. I mean, I've already made a couple of buddies <laughs> uh, that I've been speaking with on Facebook and stuff that I plan to meet up with and have coffee. And yeah, I just, oh, I'm just excited. And I guess the, the thing to sort of highlight as well, all of this has come about because of this bike. This bike has kind of reignited the sort of excitement uh, for me around motorcycling again. And, and it's all thank you to this bike, I guess, and my fantastic personality, which is sparkling like a star in the northern sky. Yeah. Please don't unsubscribe. But I guess I just want to say thank you very much. And, um, you know, I've managed to get out today just because it's a Sunday. Weather isn't too bad, as you can see. It looks as though it's trying to push to rain. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm going to be trying to make some really good content for you, um, which consists of my fantastic personality. Not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, again, if you like this video, you know, just give me a little like or a comment. What are your thoughts? I mean, I'm interested to hear from you. What do you think about the motorcycle community? Do you find it strong? Have you? I want to hear some of your stories as well, just to sort of give essence. And, and, and you know, on the flip side of that, I want to hear some shitty stories as well, because I think the shitty people need to be flushed out. They sort of do flush themselves out, to be honest with you, but let's flush out the shit. As, as bad as that sounds <laughs> but um, yeah thank you so much for watching I'll leave you there and love you and I'll see you in the next video cheerio